All right, I am super excited for this one. This is really cool because we're going to be doing skimming with Skimmer, and this is to assess data quality. So skimming is a really powerful technique that I use all the time. So once you get to know this package skimmer, you're going to be doing this all the time. Here's what it does. I've just got a data set right here. It looks like Star Wars. Um, this is a, a, a really cool data set that comes from, I believe, the dplyr package. And it's got Star Wars characters and some information about them. And it even has some kind of weird features in here that are actually nested features. They're, they have lists. So say you want to check this thing out. What you do is you run skim. And what this does is basically provides you a data quality summary. So uh, what it does is it gives you a summary of the name um, of your data set, the number of rows, number of columns, the frequency the, uh, of, of different data types. So character, list, and numeric are present. There's eight character, three list, three numeric, and you can also see that up here when you print the data frame. So that's basically what it's doing but it goes even deeper. So by each character type, it starts to give you some information about that. So like, uh, for example, name, I can see that there's zero missing, but hair color has five missing, and I can see it has a completion rate of 94%. Um, you can also see a distribution of the values, number of unique values, which is really important for me when I'm reviewing. I wanna know how many unique values are in my character, um, data types, and so on. Uh, list which is kind of an un uncommon type, but this one actually has what's called nested lists, uh, which is when um, each cell of our data frame has kind of a, a list of uh, multiple features uh, buried within them. Um, so you can see films, vehicles, and starships are all nested lists. Uh, you can also see the numeric data types. So you, this is cool because you can see uh, actually a distribution like the mean, the st standard deviation, and the quantile, and also a little, they, they draw a little histogram for you. Um, but really, it's cool because you can see the number of missing, the completion rate, and that's really important. So that's how that works. That's what we're going to be checking out today. Um, if you haven't done so, what you need to do is you need to sign up to get the code. Uh, the R Tips newsletter, uh, and that and that has all the code. You're going to hit a Git pull um, to download, and then you're going to get this EDA um, uh, folder. So we're on R Tip number 26, and you're going to pull open this file EDA Skimmer.R. So that's what I'm in. Um, so we already checked out. Uh, so we're using the Skimmer package. Uh, you're going to want to load these two libraries. So load Skimmer, load the Tidyverse. Um, we, we started playing around with the Star Wars data set. Um, so I'm not going to uh, go over that. Um, you know, some of the cool things that you can do once you skim, um, you can start to investigate and it can give you clues about your data that you want to investigate. So you can do Star, Star Wars filter is in a birth year. So you want to see like where birth year uh, is missing. So this is the column birth year and you can see it's all missing and you can see other features in here that might be missing as well. Um, but let's check out some other data sets. Uh, there's the storms data set. So we can skim this one. And this is a cool data set uh, that tracks a lot of storm data. So from different storms that we've had, like uh, tropical uh, depression storms uh, and so on. Amy uh, is this one here, but there's several other storms. Um, it's about 10,000 or so rows. And you can see that it's got all sorts of information. Uh, one of these is a different type of feature, categorical, uh, which this one is an ordered category. So if we check that out, um, you can see in this report, it actually comes up as a factor and you can see that it is an ordered factor. It's got true in here. And you can see that's number of missing and so on. Um, so this, this type of report can be very valuable. So let's check out some more data sets. We've got economics, which is a time series. So now we've got date fields in here. So let's check out economics. There's a date feature and um, it's got several columns here. If I skim that, um, this is what we get. So it tells us uh, even for the date variable type, it'll give you the min, the max, the median date, the number of unique values and so on. And because this is a time series, what might be useful is the min and the max. 
Um, the last thing, so we can even do grouped data. So if you, um, there's this economics long data set, which is basically the same data. It's just been reshaped so that the, um, all of the, the columns that are wide, which are these columns here, are kind of stacked on top of each other. So you've got a variable name, PCE, and so on, and then you've got the values. Um, so what you might want to do is you group those, and then you can get group-wise statistics on them. So when I do a group by, now I have five different groups by this variable column, and I can skim those. So when I do a grouped analysis now, this is, this is pretty cool. Um, it'll give you the number of rows, number of columns, so on. Uh, but it gives you now this group variable. So you can see date um, is now being grouped by each of these variables here. And you can see the range in each one of the dates. And, and that um, gives me an indication that each of the groups are looking good as well. Um, and, and so on. So the same thing with the values. Um, we're looking at them now by group. And you can see the different distributions between each of these. Like population is much higher then uh, the PCE and the PSA VERT and the unemployment rates. Um, so yeah, that's, that's how skimming works. It's super useful. I use it in almost every single analysis. So definitely check that out. If you want some more R tips that are related to exploratory data analysis, check out R tip 25. That's the super fast EDA with data explorer. That's the one I did last week. And then a few weeks ago, I did uh, correlation funnel versus PP score, which is again, very useful for finding quick insights in your data. All right, till next time, I'll see ya. If you like this video, don't forget to sign up for the Tuesday free R tips newsletter. You can just click this uh, link here and it'll send you here, put your email address in and every Tuesday you'll get these videos, you'll get the code and you'll get the tutorial right in your inbox.